Do you guys want to see more nitros? And so do I. So we've got my first ever Traxxas Nitro car. It can do over 45 mile per hour. It's got easy start, reverse, two speed transmission, disc brakes, blah, blah, blah. That's enough waffle. So let's unbox it and then we're going to take it out for a rip. Oh, check that out, guys. Man, the suspension on this feels epic. We've got double wishbone suspension, front and rear. Metal chassis, twin servos. We actually had twin servo problems on that one, so hopefully this one's going to be all right. So now, let's have a look to see what's inside. Here's the 3.3 nitro engine with electric start. So there we've got the two-speed transmission, disc brakes, onboard cantilever style shocks. So you can see how that all moves look. It's nice. Also in the box, you get instructions, toolkit. <laughs> If you want to know all the techno babble, all the specifications and where you can get one from, I'm going to put a link to all of that down below. So this is supposed to be the world's most advanced nitro monster truck. And I think it probably is. Look at that. Two servos in there. More servos there. We've got all this OptiDrive stuff. We've got all this telemetry stuff. I have absolutely no idea what all that lot means. So just check the link down below if you want to know all the techno babble. Look at that, skill level four. Right, that's it. I'm all waffled out. Let's get it charged up, get some fuel in it, and then take it out for a rip. We are on location, and first of all, we've got to run it in. And if we run it in fast, it will be fast. We'll go with that anyway, because we can't bother to wait for a proper running in procedure. Oh, we've started it already. Right. All right, cut. You know what to do with it, don't you? Yep. Yeah, go on in. Get it running, boy. Got the professional in the house. Have you put the right amount of fuel in? Yeah, we got fuel. We got it primed. Yeah, you have charged, Jane? Yeah, it was turning over, now it doesn't. It's flooded yet. I don't know. A few moments later, it was flooded, guys. That's what's wrong with it. <laughs> Oh, I got one eye closed. Any front flips? Ah, uh, montage time. And then we're gonna take it out for a whip. <laughs> Thanks, and then we'll try it again, it will go a bit faster. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, out of fuel. There we go. Beautiful. Look at that. E-Vivo 3.3. Next location. Guys, absolutely love it, but we're going to make a few upgrades. So the servo for the brakes and the throttle, it seems very slow. And I don't know if you noticed in the video, but when I was doing the jumps, when you tap the brakes, it's supposed to bring the nose down. But the servo was so slow that it was quite delayed and it made me land on the back end quite often. So I could have saved quite a few crashes there if we had a quicker servo. So I'm going to chuck in one of these JX Eco Boosts. These are dirt cheap, super fast, loads of power. And I'm going to put a link down below where you can get one from. So we're going to put that in there in the next video. Also, I want to fit this RPM True Track rear conversion kit. If you have a look at the back of this car, it's got these tow links here. And in my experience, every car that's got these links here, they always break off or they break the hubs, always cause loads of problems. On the E-Revo 2.0, it's got those. I, I kept breaking them off. The HBR Savage has them, and I kept breaking them off. So what this does, it completely eliminates that system altogether and makes it more like the suspension that you might find on the back of a Minimax. Something like that. Also, I want to do the shoe goo and the drywall tape modification onto the body. We have crashed on here a couple of times. The body is still looking good. No cracks in there. So we're going to clean it up, do the shoe goo, hopefully keep it looking nice for longer. But guys, check out that body. What do you reckon? I reckon it looks absolutely epic. Another upgrade that I want to do, I want to do it so I can start up the engine with just a push of a button on the transmitter. So normally we've got to get this thing here, shove it in the hole and press the button. And that does work really, really well. But... How cool would it be if you could start it on the remote? Also, some of you guys have been saying, Kev, why have you not been doing so many videos? Well, I treat YouTube a little bit like a hobby and I've been working very hard to get this monster truck built and I don't want to stress myself out and, and sort of be felt pressurised to force videos out. So I do videos when I can. I love doing videos. I love filming. I love editing. I love chatting with you guys. And to me, it has to be fun because, you know, once it becomes to start feeling like a job, then I might as well do something else because there's much better ways to make money than YouTube. But YouTube is definitely the most fun that I've ever had. So if you didn't see the last video, you would have seen that I've done a bit more work on this monster truck. We've got the drive shafts all properly mounted now. We've got the tank nice and secure. And currently I'm working at mounting all these seat belts and the seat. Also my engine's ready and the engine is just about ready to get shipped. So hopefully in a few short weeks, we can get the engine in, get it started, get the big tires on, get the body on and <laughs> take this thing forward. Rip. So if you want to see all that, and the upgrade on the Revo, and the Drag Slash, and we got a new helicopter to fly, and we're taking a Raminator out again soon, then subscribe and smash the bell so you don't miss it.